Good evening. Welcome to the Portsmouth Public Schools 2021 Summer Commencement. At this time, would, you, would everyone please stand for the presentation of colors by the MJROTC Color Guard and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
At this time, we would like to recognize all of our honored guests that are here on stage with us. This evening, we have with us Dr. Eli Bracey, our division superintendent, Dr. Anita Nguyen, our assistant superintendent of curriculum and instruction, Dr. Michael Cromarty, our chief of schools, Mr. Theodore Falk, our chief financial officer, Ms. Jessica Duran, the director, executive director of human resources, and of course, Ms. Nor Lauren Nolasco, our chief communications officer. Our prestigious school board members, we have Reverend Cardell Patillo, our school board chair, Ms. Tamara L. Shoemake, Mrs. Yolanda Thomas, Mr. Vernon Tillich. We would also like to recognize our principals from each of our high schools. Mr. Sean Malachi, the principal of Churchland High School. Dr. Laguna O. Foster, the principal of I.C. Norcom High School. And Dr. Timothy E. Johnson, principal of Woodrow Wilson High School. Good evening. Please join me in one more applause for the last inductees of the Portsmouth Public Schools Class of 2021. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Now sit back and get comfortable because I planned this speech to last about 45 minutes. All right, since you're going to be that way, I'm going to give you the four-minute version. All right. Good evening and congratulations to each of you as you officially join the Portsmouth Public Schools Class of 2021. After nearly a year and a half of virtual learning and credit recovery, here you are to receive the payoff of your commitment and your hard work. You should be proud of your resilience, how you stayed the course, how you kept your eyes on the prize. I promise you this will not be the last second chance. You're going to find that there are lots of hurdles, many obstacles. But if you continue to do what you've done to get here, you will prevail. Concentrate on what's possible. Take smart risks and set high goals. Nelson Mandela said, there's no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. Living. Since we ended school in June, three of your classmates have senselessly lost their lives to gun violence. One was a promising and capable member of the class of 2021. Folks, take care of yourselves. Commit to changing the hashtags from rest in peace to live in purpose. Take care of yourselves. There will be people who can help you and offer you support people you can depend on. But hear what I'm about to say. From this point on, no one on earth can take better care of you than you. Your families, mothers, and grandmothers won't be and shouldn't be everywhere with you. You have to make the choices. As the cliche goes, life is 10% of what happens and 90% of how you respond. Life. All you have to do is keep you in check. As much as you will sometimes want to, you can't make decisions for other adults. Just you. Just you. Guard that with everything you have. One of my favorite poems read, reads, people are often unreasonable, illogical, and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of selfish ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are successful, you will win some false friends and some true enemies. Succeed anyway. If you're honest and frank, people may cheat you. But be honest and frank anyway. What you spend your years building, someone could destroy overnight. Build anyway. 
If you find serenity and happiness, they may be jealous, but you be happy anyway. The good you do today, people will often forget tomorrow. Do good anyway. Give the world the best you have, and it may never be enough, but give your best every day anyway. We are so proud of each and every one of you, and more importantly, we are counting on you. Take care of yourselves individually, and together, change the world. Congratulations. Okay, the moment that we've all been waiting for. It is with pleasure that I present to you the candidates for graduation. It is with pleasure that I present to you the candidates for graduation. From Churchland High School, Xavier David Barrett. Anaya Lanai Bush. <laughs> Stephen Charles Bush. Ashanti Lucretia M. Dillard. Olivia Christine Grant. Zachary Logan. Deron Jure Morissette. Temilade Olua, Kristana Oshen. Desmond Miguel Perez. Demonte Natuan Woods. From IC Norcom High School, Elijah Lamont Harris. Tavion Vincent Jones. Taki Ravon Joyner. Sharon Annette Powell. Charles Rossi Taylor Skeet. From Woodrow Wilson High School, Anna Marie Satterfield. Michaela Nicole Slippy. Larry Maurice Turner. This completes the presentation of the candidates for graduation.
You may be seated. Now you all have been very quiet to be a graduating class. So now here's your chance to make some noise. I guess they're ready, they're ready for the celebration. Yeah. I want to first of all let you know that I'm thrilled to be before you uh, this evening for this momentous occasion and recognizing you as graduates now of Portsmouth Public Schools. So once again, congratulations for your hard work. Your journey to this diploma wasn't easy but you never gave up. You even conquered the hurdles that were before you and you persisted. You made sure that you kept the end goal in focus and now look at you, members of the class of 2021. On behalf of the schools and administrative teams, let me say that we're proud of you and all the efforts you've made to get to this day. I want you to know that same grit and determination you, ex you display to get to this stage today is going to be the same reasons you will succeed in life. As you leave here and go and chase your future, whether that's the workforce, furthering your education, or serving your country, you're going to face obstacles. They're a natural part of life. However, when you come to those struggles, Remember your journey to get here. Remember how you had to stick to it, work hard to achieve, because after all, you have done it. As high school graduates, you now have a solid foundation you can build upon for greater heights. So tonight, I give you my best and brightest wishes for you to have a successful future. I know you all will do incredible things. And I want you to know that we're proud of you and Portsmouth proud. Congratulations again, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your night. Good evening. This is the time that everyone's been waiting for. At this time, candidates for graduation, we ask that you please stand. The symbolic turning of the tassel signifies that you have graduated from high school. Candidates for graduation, at this time, you may now turn your tassel from the right side to the left side. On behalf of Ms. Burden, your summer school principal, Dr. Foster, principal of I.C. Norcom High School, and Dr. Johnson, principal of Woodrow Wilson High School, and by the power vested in me by the Virginia Department of Education and by the Portsmouth City School Board, I now declare you graduates of Portsmouth Public Schools. Congratulations. <laughs> We're going to ask that the audience please remain standing as the graduates exit the auditorium. <laughs> 